<risos> Aproveita que pra... é Convidamos a todos para tomarem seus assentos na plenária. Em cinco minutos daremos início. Please take your seats. In five minutes we will start. Bom dia a todos, estamos aqui hoje para mais um lançamento para novas famílias, vamos anunciar as novas gerações do Moto G e do Moto E. Temos convidados da América Latina, Estados Unidos, Ásia, Europa. So, for those, good morning, it's a great pleasure to have you with us. 
today we are announcing two generations of our best-selling smartphones, and I would like to welcome all the audience. Esse evento também está sendo transmitido ao vivo pelos canais oficiais da Motorola do Brasil, Facebook e YouTube. É a primeira vez que participo de um evento como presidente global da companhia. E antes de falar dos novos produtos, queria destacar alguns resultados que tivemos em 2017. Vamos começar pela América Latina, onde o ano passado crescemos em todos os mercados. América Central e Caribe, nossas vendas avançaram 69%. Chile e Peru, crescemos 21%. México, Colômbia, superamos a indústria, o crescimento em nove vezes. Nestes mercados, já somos número um na maioria das operadoras e grandes varejistas nos últimos dois anos. A Argentina, mesmo sendo brasileiro, temos que reconhecer que é o maior crescimento da região. Crescemos 112% o ano passado. Mas gostaria também de destacar os resultados do Brasil em 2017. Há quatro anos, ocupamos a posição de número dois. Hoje, o país está entre os três principais mercados da companhia no mundo. Grande parte desse sucesso se deve ao Moto G. Já vendemos mais de 30 milhões de unidades desde a primeira geração. Por isso tudo, a América Latina é uma referência para a Motorola no mundo. Para ser mais preciso, nosso crescimento no ano passado foi 20 vezes maior que a indústria em 2017. Na Europa, também tivemos resultados muito positivos. Nossas vendas cresceram 50% em 2017. Chegamos ao top 5 em três países, incluindo o Reino Unido. Com a nova família do Moto G, voltamos às principais operadoras de toda a Europa. Na Índia, o Moto G e o Moto E estão entre os celulares mais populares do mercado. A Motorola está entre as quatro principais marcas e estamos comemorando hoje a abertura de 400 quiosques da Motorola. E devemos chegar a mil num velho espaço de tempo muito curto. Estados Unidos, triplicamos nossa presença em pontos de venda no ano passado, crescemos 50% e já somos a primeira marca em smartphones desbloqueados. Antes de falar dos próximos lançamentos, Queria lembrar um pouco como tudo começou. Ao lançar o primeiro Moto G, nosso objetivo era oferecer inovações e experiências que só existiam em produtos premium. Este ano não será diferente. Estamos prontos para fazer isso de novo. É hora de conhecer a sexta e, com certeza, a melhor geração do Moto G. Obrigado.
morning, everyone. Honestly, it's a pleasure to be here, to be back here. Actually, I was um, I was here last June. Moto Life. It's always a pleasure to come to buy new Moto E, and I'm feeling a little bit better for the next product. And I can't wait to to show you more. So the cheap products they are here to listen to you, to listen to your needs, and deliver the experience you value the most. Be part of that experience. But let's start talking about the product. A typical example of the mission of the Moto G, which is to listen to you, to listen to what the market is saying and to the great things that we can bring, is our display. There is innovation which enable on the very high-end products to get more display within the same form factor, to cover more of the surface of the phone with the display. So we asked, we asked ourselves, why not making that for Moto G? And this is what we did with our Max Vision display. We cover more than 80% of the device with display. That means more usage, more interaction, and a way better experience. So we are very, very happy because not only one, but all the Moto Gs, we're going to introduce three Moto Gs here today. All of them have this Max Vision display. So this is great. And as we were doing that, we decided to change the form factor. The display is now longer and narrower, so we wanted the phone to be narrower as well, so that you have a better grasp in your hand. And we made it curved so that it's nicer, it, uh, it has a better feeling. So everything becomes to be a large display and something that you hold better in your hand. It fits very comfortably. There are like three layers of things. Now, a product like our new Moto G feels just like one smooth piece of glass. Very important, that's glass, but that's very strong. We have multiple technologies of glass that we are using, and uh, they are things for the higher part of the Moto Gs, which are 3D Gorilla Corning glass, which are very, very robust. This glass design will come in four colors for finishing, if you like. So we have things like lighter touch of blue, darker touch of blue, silver, more gold. I think all the devices are very consistent the way they look, but it's just kind of different touch of color depending on the preferences. So when we talk about a bigger display, when we talk about more usage, there is obviously the question of the battery performance. And we know, we, we talk to, our, to you, we talk to our consumers, and we know that this is one of the primary concerns that people have, battery performance. Of course, generation over generation, we try and work very hard to make the battery consumption optimized so that we always make sure that there is at least more than one full day of usage of our phones. But here again, we wanted to innovate for this new generation of Moto G, and we decided to bring turbo power, tur turbo power charging on all Moto Gs. What does that mean? It means that if you have only 15 minutes to charge your device, it gives you six more hours of, su of usage. So just imagine, you're, you can just break for a coffee, charge your phone, and you're going for six more hours, even if your battery was totally depleted before. So that's great, and every new Moto G has that. And as I said, we have three, three new Moto Gs today. We have the G Plus and the G, and by the way, there is a comeback. There is the comeback of the G Play. And that G Play comes with something even better for the battery performance. It comes with more battery inside. More battery to the point that you can use it for up to 32 hours without charging again. So turbo charging, more battery, more optimized battery consumption, everything is really focused around the usage. Bigger display, more comfortable to use, everything is about that. So when we talk about usage, we have to talk about the speed of the, pow the power of the device, and we made sure that here as well you won't be disappointed. All the Moto Gs are using the latest generation of, Snapdra of Qualcomm Snapdragon. It goes up to an octa-core 2.2 gigahertz. When you think about it, not long time ago that was what was in a PC. And now you have that in a Moto G. This is as powerful as it gets for gaming, for streaming, for all the things that you want to do with your phone. 
Now, let's keep it here for the features. I have been talking a lot about usage, so this is the interesting part of MotoGP. Let's talk about all the things that you can do with your phone. And it's, the, the list is pretty endless, so I'm going to try to focus on what's really, really impressive. Let's start with the camera. We know when we, when we talk to you, when we talk to consumers, we know that the camera is one of the primary usage and that image quality is obviously something very important. And we take that very seriously. We take image quality super seriously and we consider all the things that you want to do with your pictures because we know that this is not only about taking nice pictures, it's about sharing them, it's about being creative with them. So you're gonna see we have a lot of things about that. First, let me show you real examples. It's not only about giving you technical specs. Those pictures were taken with actual new Moto Gs. And look at the colors. They are not all obvious pictures. They have been taken in dark conditions, in complex environments, but every time the colors are very vivid, the details are very crisp. So this is exactly what the thing you can get with our new Moto Gs. Now, there is more than we can do with that. We can take great pictures, but we can transform those pictures. And you will see that pretty much your creativity is going to be the limit. Here you see what we have with selective focus. So this is the moment where you decide that you want to put the highlight of a picture on some particular element. For example, you see here how you can play with a picture. You decide that the hero is the cake or the hero are the people. And then you blur out the other part. It's really impressive because it it's very, very simple to do that. You just touch an object and that blurs out the rest. You want to be more creative? Go with it. I mean, take a classic black and white picture and just add a dash of color in there to highlight something and go and share that with your friends. As a selective black and white. Something I really, really like, the cutout function. You take a picture, you cut out the background, you resize the picture, you put it in a different scene. Let me tell you something. I tried to do that on a PC with a professional photo editing software. So I don't know about you, but that doesn't work for me. That's very complicated. The result is not that good. It's a lot easier, it's a lot faster, and the result is a lot better with the phone. And that's, again, very, very seamless. You have nothing to do. Just replace background, resize, put on the right one, and share. So we can even go farther in, in creativity. We have this time-lapse mode. You're just shooting a scene, and then you can accelerate the action to go very fast. And that's very interesting. That gives very professional views of that. That's a time-lapse video. And we have face filters. We know that for selfies, this is a very, very common practice nowadays. But we want you to do that more. It's not only for pictures, it works for videos. And it's not only static, it's interactive. So actually, what you're doing is changing the face filter. Whether you open your mouth, you, change, you turn your head, then the face filter adjusts. And again, that generates videos, that generates pictures, and you have a lot of mods about that. You can even take regular pictures and decide to animate them. This is the active photos. You just shoot a picture, it will take a few shots before, a few shots after, generate a, a small animation about that. It's very fun. You can look that and share it online. Really interesting. So that's just an example of all the things you can do with the camera. Right off the bat, just using the phone. And we bet we're going to use that a lot. So we bet we're gonna make, you're going to make a lot of pictures and a lot of videos. So there is one cool thing about our products. The default gallery player is Google Photo. So with Google Photo, you get that automatic seamless backup. You don't have to think about it. You, there is nothing to install. You take a picture, it's backed up in the cloud. And it's unlimited. You have never any limitation for that. And even more fun, you can search your pictures. I mean, I don't know about you. I have more than 15,000 pictures on my phone. So let's say that I want to retrieve the picture I took of a sports car two years ago, say, in Los Angeles. What do I do? I scroll forever. So now I can just search it. And I type cars, Los Angeles, 2016. I will find the, ca I will find the photo. So this is how it works. You take as many pictures as you want. They are all safely backed up. You can share them. 
and you can search them. So it's by default in the product and it goes with our great camera. So that's for one part of the camera. Let's talk about something different now. Let's talk about the Moto experience. I bet that if you're a Moto G user, you love, you love Moto experiences. What are Moto experiences so far? So Moto experiences, they are this way of having all the sensors in the phone being alive all the time, always active. And they detect what you want to do, and they do it for you. So you probably know that, for example, if you twist your wrist, it will open up the camera. If you chop chop the device, it's going to fire up the, the flashlight that if you swipe on the fingerprint sensor, it will browse through the, the Android screen. So this is all kind of things. There are new things coming on the, these new Moto Gs, for example. You will now be able to keep reading on your display, and as long as your eyes are reading in front of the display, the display is not going to turn off. So that's very convenient. You will have the way to, by just approaching your hand, from the display, revealing the notification at the time. This is what we only had on Moto Z before, and we are now bringing that to our Moto G series. You can even, by touching three fingers on the screen, take any, any screenshot anytime. So, that's what Moto Experience is, or used to be, but wait, it gets way better than that. Now, all the sensors, the camera, the microphones, the proximity sensors, all the sensors you have on the phone, they are not only smart, they are becoming powered by AI, by artificial intelligence. And that's unleashed a whole new world of creativity and of possibilities. So for example, the camera takes great pictures, but now the camera is intelligent. The camera sees what you see and understands what it is. It can recognize landmark and tell you exactly what is it that you have in front of you. It can give you facts and data about that. If you have an object and you put it in front of a camera, it will recognize the object. At some point, it will even enable you to go and buy online that object if it's recognized what it is. You can put text in front of the camera. It will read the text, recognize it, transform it into a document. And obviously, it works for QR code, for, for barcode, for business card. You don't have to install any app. That works right on the phone, and that works with our AI engine embedded in there, and that's very powerful. So that's one of an example of how AI is coming and powering the motor experience. The other camera, the front camera, can now recognize your face. It will know exactly and very securely that this is you. So you can use it to unlock your device. You don't need password or fingerprint anymore. You can just use that. That's the face unlock. Now, last part of the new Moto experience powered by AI that honestly I like the most is the fact that for you can still speak to your device. It will wake up the device, but it will understand what you say, more importantly. And it will do very, very smart stuff because it's actually conversational, contextual, and it works with most of the apps of your phone. So, of course, you can if you like, ask for the weather forecast. It can do that. But it can do a lot more than that. It can really interact with you. So say, for example, I'm asking to get the next flight to Beijing. Then the device will ask me which airline I prefer. And then I will reply. And I really engage into a conversation with the device. And there is so many things you can do. You can ask to listen to your music. You can ask to recognize music. You can ask to see the next episode of your favorite TV show. And it will fire up your favorite streamer, streaming app, without you making any setup for that. You can do even very, very, very complex use cases, as you have seen in this animation. You can ask for a hotel in a specific city with that many stars on the view with the river. And it will give you a list. And out of that list, because it remembers always the context, you can say, take the third one on the list and send the address to my friend. And it will fire up your WhatsApp, for example, and send the address to your friend. So it's way more powerful interaction that has ever been done with voice on any device 
It makes you wonder why you, you would even have to unlock your device anymore and touch iCodes. It's way faster than doing all sorts of uh, scrolling, pushing iCodes and copy and paste. So this is what we call Moto Voice. Moto Voice is now available on Moto G for the first time and Moto Voice will evolve over time. And there is a long, long, long journey of Moto Voice coming up and on all the AI powered Moto experience. So speaking of this, and that will be going towards the end of the Moto G part, I mentioned at the beginning that we not only listened to you and wanted to give you the best, but we wanted to involve you in the Moto G experience. So this is what we're starting now with what we call our beta proper, the beta experiences. What is going to happen is that not only you will get all the things that I mentioned as part of the Moto experience of Moto G, but that will evolve over time. You will get more and more. Each time we have a new innovation, a new feature, we are going to share it with you. You don't have to change your device. You can use the same one. You will benefit from that. Now, you will tell us what you think about it. You will tell us if you like it, if you don't like it, why you don't like it, if you have a better idea than us. Maybe, I hope, by the way. So you're totally involved. It's not about creating stats of usage. It's about co-creation, it's about co-design, it's about making it together. That's really important. And I can tell you even better than that. I'm gonna promise you something. Next time I come here and maybe I announce the next generation of Moto G, I'm gonna give you a full report on that. What we did together, what we learned from you, what we learned from what you like, what you didn't like, and what were your ideas, and how you shaped and transformed the Moto experience with us. We really want to consider from now on that Moto experience is your experience. And this is really important. This, progr this beta program, this program of involving you in the co-design is going to start in the coming weeks. We're going to communicate about that, and we hope you're going to love it. So, there was a lot to say about our Moto G. This is how they look like. We have three of them, as I mentioned, and they come in the colors, as I mentioned before. And keep in mind, they have these great features, but they come with this amazing experience. And I can't wait to hear your feedback about all the things you're going to be able to do with that. Later on, you will be able to play with them. I'm sure that they are available here after the show. So the other thing that you will be able to see today is our new Moto E's, and we are announcing new Moto E's as well. And you will see they are not coming short of any innovation. They are benefiting of a lot of improvements that even bring with the Moto G, and they are focused on bringing you more entertainment. So the great thing, even Moto G, even Moto E is being more affordable. All the Moto E's are going to benefit from our new Max Vision display, this 18 by 9, covering more than 80% of the surface. For example, this E Plus is going to come up with a 6 inch Max Vision display, more than 80% of display on your device. That's amazing when it comes to consume entertainment, gaming, streaming, video, web browsing. This is the best experience ever for that. And with that, of course, we wanted to make even more on the battery. A product like the E Plus comes with a massive 5,000 mAh battery. That means more than 36 hours of usage. And keep in mind, when I mention this time of usage, this is our lab test. This is very conservative. For me, using a device like that, I can pretty much use it all the time for more than two days without even charging it. So it's really unlimited entertainment at your fingertips. Even the camera has been improved on the Moto E. It's not because the device is more affordable that you should be taking blurry pictures. So we wanted to concentrate more on the autofocus and make it faster and more accurate. This is why we have included laser autofocus on one and face detection autofocus on the other on the Moto E. Last but not least, Fingerprint sensor, we put it in the back, very convenient to access with your finger when you hold your device and you will be able, it's very, very fast and very accurate and very secure, so you will be able to unlock it by just touching your device, and that helps to the world. So we are announcing today two Moto E's, 
E5 and E5 Plus, they are respectively coming in 5.7 and 6 inch Max Vision display. And you can see with the same new design, with the same new 3D curves that we are bringing on the Moto G. This is really extending the family almost and benefiting from all the key aspects down to the Moto E. So I hope you're going to enjoy those devices, use them, and really see all the things you can do with that. I think they are great, they are fantastic, and uh, I'm going to now let Bruno talk to you about our marketing campaign and how we're going to launch them. Thank you very much. Bom dia. Wow, que emoção. Obrigado. Thank you, Dan. Bonnie. Obrigado a todos que estão aqui. É um prazer subir no palco novamente para falar de Moto G. Uma família tão querida no mercado de smartphones, mas principalmente para a marca Motorola. Mas eu queria agradecer também a você que está aí, atrás da câmera, acompanhando a gente. Como vocês sabem, esse é o primeiro evento global da Motorola que a gente está transmitindo pelas redes sociais. Então é muito, muito bacana ter todo mundo aqui, tem consumidor aqui na frente também, obrigado por ter vindo. E ter vocês aí, por quê? Porque vocês representam os quase 30 milhões de usuários de Moto G no Brasil, desde a primeira geração. E falando da primeira geração, eu vou começar esse speech um pouco diferente do que eu faço normalmente. Eu queria perguntar para vocês, quem não lembra quando o Moto G chegou no mercado e mudou tudo? Então, para a gente lembrar um pouco juntos, eu vou chamar aqui um vídeo, um vídeo curto, mas para a gente ver como que essa história começou. Vocês lembram, né? São 10 segundos, 10 segundos suficientes para a gente lembrar de quando ele chegou e mudou tudo. A gente está chegando na sexta geração, são 5 anos de sucesso absoluto dessa família e a gente está chegando junto com vocês, porque a sexta geração é inspirada em cada um de vocês, nossos clientes, parceiros e principalmente consumidores. Mas como todo evento da Motorola, vocês sabem também que a gente não fala de passado, a gente fala de futuro, de presente. Então eu queria convidar vocês a verem pela primeira vez, com exclusividade, a campanha feita para a família Moto G6 no Brasil. É uma campanha global, mas produzida no Brasil. Então a gente está com muito, muito orgulho dessa campanha. Vamos ver junto a campanha Hello You. Vários aqui. É, bom, o filme é sempre bom ver mais de uma vez. Ainda mais um filme lindo desse. Então vamos ver de novo, mas agora em português. Vocês que gostam é a única, assim como os nossos produtos. O Moto G permite que você expresse e se conecte com o seu próprio mundo do seu jeito, usando o smartphone do jeito que você quer e do jeito que você acredita, sem seguir nenhum tipo de padrão. É por isso que a gente fala que a campanha de Moto G6, sabe que a gente guarda no coração aqui, a gente não lança só com um filme como esse. Então a gente cobre realmente o mundo, o Brasil, com essa campanha colorida, leve, e muito próxima do consumidor. Então aqui alguns exemplos que ajudaram a colocar isso de pé. Então aqui Moto G6, Moto G... O que é legal é que a campanha continua como protagonista. Produtos chega no Brasil hoje, com preço de a partir de R$ 1.099. É agora que sobem todos os celulares para registrar esse momento. Então hoje, a partir de hoje, vocês vão encontrar na nossa loja online, em todos os nossos parceiros de negócio, a família Moto G, 
para vocês adquirirem esse super produto. E eu queria dar o um último recado, penúltimo, último recado para falar aqui para vocês que estão aqui hoje presencialmente no evento. A gente montou um quiosque, como a gente sempre. E eu queria deixar um último recado antes de sair do palco e agradecer novamente, que é, assim como o Dé comentou, hoje começam as novidades da Motorola em 2018 em termos de produto. E como ele comentou, a partir de hoje, outras informações de Moto E começam a chegar no mercado. Então fiquem ligados nas nossas redes sociais, no nosso site. E vocês que estão aqui vão poder ver o produto Moto G, qualquer um da família, e também o Moto E5 nas nossas salas de degustações. Tá? A gente tem duas salas aqui, uma aqui na frente, uma atrás da, da cabine de som. Então fiquem à vontade, quando acabar aqui, vocês já são convidados para conhecerem em primeira mão e poderem ver os dois, as duas famílias de produto. Muito obrigado, obrigado a vocês de casa de novo, e eu queria convidar vocês então a dar um hello para a família Moto G. Obrigado. Oi, bom dia. Eu vou pedir para os jornalistas brasileiros e influenciadores que se inscreveram na Roundtable, na primeira, com os executivos da Motorola, ali do lado direito, o Marcos vai levar vocês ali, por favor, tá? É, depois a gente tem a segunda roundtable com produtos a meio de 15 também. Se vocês puderem se encontrar aqui, a gente leva vocês para o espaço, tá bom? Obrigada, bom evento.